offensive firepower, something the Boilermakers are real familiar with, with Madison Layden leading the charge. Kick out to the corner, back up top, driving into the lane, and that'll go for two. First score of the night, Caddy Sissoko. Bigs on Bigs, Minnesota in the paint on offense versus Ricky Woolman in the Purdue paint on defense. Janae Terry lays that one up for two as she hits the floor. We're tied to all. Too strong. Layden in the corner, sinks it for three. Cass Harden from three. She sinks it. Scalia with no jumper on that one, nearly goes in for two. Jasmine Powell with the rebound, puts it up. Gophers on the board for the first time in four minutes. Shot clock at six. Harden from the corner. Sinks the three, two for two tonight is Cassidy Harden. Compliment piece to Madison Layton in this three point base attack. Laura Bagwell knocks that one down 13-6. That one, good from three for Godiva Hubbard. Learn a four-time All-Star in her career at Our Lady of Loudris School in New York. Abby Ellis fighting her way into the paint, kicks out to Learn. She sinks a mid-range jumper, her first points of the day. Not strong enough, hits the iron. Ball up in the air, Layden's gonna try again from deep. Sinks it as the clock expires. Boilers lead 18 to nine as the first quarter draws to a close. Helgren. Scalia back at the top of the arc. Shot clock at seven, Scalia takes the shot, in and out, won't go. Gophers get the rebound though, and the putback coming from number 12, Laura Bagwell, working inside, tosses that one up. Deja Winters from outside the arc, she knocks it down for three. That'll get you, gotta remain patient and not, not over anticipate on defense. Jasmine Powell puts it up with the left hand, Gophers get a score. For the Boilermakers, got to have some ball movement. Janae Terry, a great player, but can't do it all by herself. Beautiful sequence, Powell into Katalinich. But the pressure is certainly there to kind of disrupt this offensive flow. Jayla Smith puts it right into the hand of Jasmine Powell. She, and Jayla Smith blocks the shot. Executed. We'll take a break here on Big Ten Plus. The Boilers lead by one. Gophers try to get the rebound, but Boilermakers recover Madison Layden on a fast break here. Jayla Smith puts it up with the right hand for two. Easy bucket before that timeout. 5.43 left to play here in the first half. Madison Layden pass into Janae Terry. Quick dump over to Jayla Smith in the corner. So take some dribbles and take a shot. Good for two. Madison Layden's reach is getting so close to the ball. And don't be surprised at turnover from Jayla Smith. The Boilermakers wingspan is giving them some life as Jayla Smith takes it all the way to the rim for two. Boilers on a 6-0 run in the last three minutes. Minnesota scoreless in the last four. Janae Terry adds two more to the docket. So right now doing the same with the Golden Gopher star. Ava Learn puts that up for two amongst some arms. Alex already eight turnovers for the Golden Gophers on offense. This Purdue defense has been suffocating. Hubbard takes a shot, knocks it down. Gophers cut the lead to five. Janae Terry taking it all the way to the basket and she's good for two. Deja Winters from deep, sinks it! Some life for the Gophers before the clock expires. That one over the backboard. Trapped near the baseline, Deja Winters Gonna take it herself. Boilermakers with some strong defense. Big toss, Abby Ellis. Foul, and gets the bucket. Powell gonna put it up, off the board and in. And open up this third quarter. Ricky Waltman puts it back in the hands of the Boilers. Janae Terry passes into Waltman, off the board for two. And avoid this 
intense Purdue defense. Gophers 11 of 38 for 29%. Boilers, on the other hand, climb above 40% thanks to Brooke Moore knocking that one for two. Mid-range maestro there from Brooke Moore. They don't see too many mid-range shots anymore, but Brooke Moore nails that one. Scalia gets her first points of the night. Gophers down by eight. Deja Winters with the steal. Deja Winters lays that one up for two. All game long, but Winters recognizes it, seals it off, gets the steal, and gets the bucket. What was an eight point lead comes back to seven. Hits nothing but the air on that one, and the crowd's gonna let her hear it. Quick pass into Waltman. If it works once, why not go back to it? So maybe that'll look out of fire in this offense. Intercepted by Madison Layden. She's going to look to reset the offense here. Quick pass out to Terry. Harden from three. Knocks it down. Minnesota unable to get on the board after a long, hard one there. But they recover it. Scalia from three. Knocks it down. Five points here in the third quarter after going scoreless in the first half. Now Golden Gophers have to weather the storm here that Purdue put up and get themselves back into this game. Layden with the right hand behind her back. That was filthy. <laughs> Laura Bagwell turns it over. Jayla Smith driving hard to the lane, puts it up. 49-38, Boilers lead with 340 to play. Janae Terry putting that one up, gets her own rebound. Go for swarming around her face, but she gets it in. Hitting those free throws and cutting into this lead. 51-40, Boilers lead by 11. Cass Harden from three, sinks it! Not too detrimental, she drops to three and six. Shooting 50% from outside the arc is still quite an accomplishment for a player. Layden puts it up with her left hand, falling away for two. 56-42 is the score. Layden. Toss into Waltman. Waltman working on Misha. She converts for two. You can see, you can feel the sense of urgency coming from the Gophers right now. Sarah Scalia desperately trying to get open. Hubbard lays that up. Two won't go. Misha with the putback though. The Gophers are out rebounding the Boilers on offense by one, eight to seven. Sissoko gonna put that one up for two. Just what the Gophers need, some quick scoring. Chip, chip away at this lead. Be urgent, but not urgent enough where you're making mistakes. Waltman into the lane, gets an easy two. She's had a stellar night. Janae Terry also got the seventh triple-double in Boiler history earlier this year as Jayla Smith knocks down a long two. Scalia from deep, knocks it down. Sarah Scalia now seven points. But still kind of the foul trouble in the defense is one thing that woman has to work on to stay down the stretch in these games. Hubbard driving in, pass off to Sissoko, and goes two. The Gophers climbing their way back in it. Hubbard taking it herself, gets the two. Well, the floodgates have opened here for Minnesota on offense, Alex. Now the defense has to come along and get some stops. Gophers five for their last six. Brooke Moore. Abby Ellis coming in with the rebound. Beautiful effort. She takes it all the way herself. Ellis. And the Boilers are nine and one when they score more than 70 in a game. Deja Winters from deep. Knocks it down. Miller getting tied up with the ball. So possession was in Minnesota's favor now. Back to the Boilermakers. Brooke Moore hits a long two. Powell takes a long jumper, knocks it down for two. Like you said, good for Minnesota. Trying to get back in this game, another stop on defense. Deja Winters knocks down a deep three. This is a huge possession for the Golden Gophers. Need some points. Madison Layden picked that one off as Misha tried to dump it out to the corner. Janae Terry, good for two, and that's a triple-double for Janae Terry. Layden working the top of the arc. She's gonna take a deep shot and six it. Just a few moments ago, got her second triple double of the year. Had a block on that stat sheet. 
Dump into Ava Learn. She puts that up for two and draws the foul and win in the first year. And I think that all these players have really bought into this program. Minnesota hits a much needed bucket. What a beautiful game. A quite an exciting Thursday night action between Big Ten women's basketball. Deja Winters for the Golden Gophers had a great night. 17 points, 6 for 11, and 5 from outside the arc. Oh,